right, YouTube, the sun has set. I'm wearing my TH20 0.2 lumens Firefly mode. I've got fresh batteries in both lights. This one, I don't know, let's amp up the light here. This is the Through Night TH10 I just was sent. And what I'm going to do is, you know, I've I've really been wondering why my camera just doesn't want to uh, uh, define the beam of this. This is 500, here let me go to uh, turbo mode here. That's 520 lumens and I just don't know what to tell you. It's like for, where for whatever reason, maybe because the beam is so indistinct and fuzzy around the edges, the camera doesn't seem to have anything to follow. If I try and beam it out there, okay, right now I've got a shed. My famous shed has prepared mine, 101 would put it. Uh, dead ahead of me, I don't think the light's lighting it up for the camera, okay? So, let me go back to Firefly mode. All right, now we've got the TH10, and I will go to turbo mode with that. Okay, this is 825 lumens. And I think the camera, it just needed another 300 lumens to really show you what's up. And what's up is, you know, that shed's a good uh, 30 yards away. You can see it's lighting the shed up very bright. So I follow this tree, okay, you can see it beaming right off the, the trunk of that tree. So as we go up, we're getting, you know, 40, 50 yards away, easy. Um, lights up the tree in the island, which is about 20 yards away. You can definitely lights up stuff. I'm not sure how far off into the woods. The camera appears to be cooperating a little better. Those trees off in the woods, probably closer to 40, 50 yards away. Once you get up there, you're talking 50, 60 yards. So even with my crappy camera, 825 lumens is apparently a big difference. Alright, trying to keep this video short. But here, let me clip this one off. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the TH20 with the much smaller beam. Okay, yeah, it's lighting the shrubs up great. But once it gets out into the lawn, even once I get to the motorcycle, it starts to look pretty dark. Let me go to turbo mode. Okay, that's 520 lumens. This is a freshly charged battery. But look, it's not really lighting that island tree up, is it? No, not really. It's not really lighting the island tree up. So the reflector makes a huge difference, and that 300 and some lumens is making a huge difference. That 305 extra lumens is pushing it better for this camera. All right, we'll go back to Firefly mode on the TH20. One more shot of the TH10. And I'll tell you what, if this video does this thing justice, let's see if I can get it to come on. There we go. Okay, now right now it's at low. Okay, and I'll double click. No, I didn't do it right. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. What a difference that makes. And that's the difference 305 lumens makes. It's blindingly bright. I got little green spots in front of my eyes from this light. And once again, lighting up the famous shed, the tree in the island. Lights up the trees out in the woods, pretty good. So, yeah, huge, huge difference. But a big weight difference, big size difference. You've got to have a strap over the top of your head, which may or may not work for you. Depends on how you feel about it. You may not want to have that weight. And it gets pretty freaking warm. I'll tell you right now, this light is getting pretty warm here. Let me clip this one on so we have some fill light for this. So this is an awesome little light that's going to be given away to somebody. 
and uh, depending on how good this video came out uh, this might be the last video I make of it because I think that pretty much demonstrates what a beast light this is it's a serious I'm on a throw 825 lumens. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Now you can start to see the rain coming down, which is great because this is an IPX8 light, so you could be walking around in the rain, no problem. Same with the TH20. Right now I've got the TH20 at 250 lumens, and I've got this one at 825. It does seem to be holding up pretty good. I've got a really, really good battery in here. I've got a top quality battery with a 30 amp discharge, 30 C discharge rate on it. It'll put it out rush of 30 amps, I mean, you know, so this battery is for my vape and it works great for my mod box. So this bat, you know, you get yourself a really good battery for this light and you will be able to kick some serious lumens out into the dark. Alright guys, didn't want to make this video super, super long. Let me go ahead and shut it down. Very nice light. Nice deep parabolic. Pretty good sized parabolic lens there. And uh, the rain is starting to come down as you can see. But here we are at 250 lumens and it just isn't the same. Much smaller parabolic, much smaller diameter. Ooh, we got a little lightning. Cool. Looks like we've got a mountain storm coming in <laughs> thanks for watching guys thanks for supporting the mountain storm channel with your likes comments and subscriptions and stick around for the giveaway video coming up